Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Welcome to James and Elliot running Royal Goobs! Welcome back to Elliot takes his medication today. Ah, I smoked my medication now. Elliot was... I chopped up my... Oh pills. no! I chopped up my pills like that. Oh man. I just... I smoked them through my nose. Dang it, I was hoping... Mm. Oh hey! This is the death cutscene. Perfect segue into what we were about to talk about. Okay, mm. so... Jay, I'm, I'm gonna fill in the audience what the fuck that was all about. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm not mad anymore. I was a little, I was a little, t I was a little heated. And a then little I, titillated. Then I was a little penis elated, and so then I took my energy and, and put it into some comedic genius because I'm such a fucking comedic badass. I'm so fucking funny. My mom told me, and you guys can't fucking tell me shit. I'm fucking hilarious. I need an adult. Okay, so save me, um, James. You can't leave the pin. Okay, I, I set up a pin around him. He's in a little pin pal, pin pen pal. So. <laughs> Um, we died, just to describe what's going on, and the Grim Reaper, he's a goof, and he's small, and... Oh, I didn't die on purpose, that was an accident. Oh, I know. I'm just explaining how we oh. got here, okay. if that was too fast and people don't understand. Anyways, James hit me up with some fucking hot-ass research, he's a fucking goddamn wizard, he uses fucking computer, cracked the goddamn code, hacked the fucking internet, made the new Facebook, deleted the old Facebook, fucking sold the new Facebook to the old Facebook, and then they made it Facebook again. Anyway... He was watching some tips and shit, and he said that we shouldn't talk during cutscenes. That's why, in the beginning of Conker's first episode, I was like, we're going to try and not talk during cutscenes. And then, it led to some confusion. There was miscommunication. I thought James was saying, we should agree not to talk during cutscenes, period. And then, James was telling me after that episode, oh no, we just shouldn't talk when people are talking like we're doing right now. When the but characters in the game are talking. When the characters in the game are talking. And then, I was like, mm, that kind of makes sense. And then, I like it became this point of confusion... Uh, I try to convey that, like, oh, we should we should try and do that, but if we actually have something to say, we can totally fucking talk over bitches like we're doing now, because I have something to say, and I am one arrogant motherfucker right now, and I know what I have to say is more important than this shit. Not really. I'm not a very arrogant person. I am very confident, though. Anyways, fucking side, sideways here. Getting back on track. Um, there was definitely some confusion, and I think it ended up in even more confusion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so... I read James on the first episode that he didn't want to talk on the Great Mighty Poo, but I think James read that I didn't want to talk on the Great Mighty Poo. And then there was this mm -hmm. fucking weirdness about this fucking bullshit. And then James uh, thought that since I didn't want to talk during cutscenes, he was trying to shush me so I wouldn't talk during over the next cutscene. That's why right during that last cutscene where Barry was introduced, I went, shh, shh, shh. And then Elliot got really mad and... And then I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm going to clear the air once and for all. And... and I tried to describe to James that uh, we can talk during cutscenes if we have something to say, and mm -hmm. I think maybe we're on the same page and maybe not, but fuck that shit, I just fucking bursted out that crate. And... He, he's explained this to me a few times, like, when we talked about this. The problem is, like, there are times where it's like, no, you can't, or you can't. It's, 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 it's been really fucking confusing. So, you know what, I, Elliot, I have an idea. I have a proposal. 50? 50! Yeah! Yep, yeah, baby. So Those are new lives. I have a proposal. Before, right when a cutscene starts, yeah. we, should we just say, say out loud if we're going to talk or not? I think that's weird. Okay. I think we do what we want. Okay. So, if we do what we want, does that mean I can shush you if you're trying to talk during and a cutscene? And I'll take the mic again and I'll fucking scream. <laughs> okay, so... No more shushing. Okay. You can shush my ass if you want. No, I. You got really mad, and then you almost killed me. So I. I, I did like pull to... out that knife, <laughs> and I did pull out that gun. He pulled out. And his I did get knife. really mad. Yeah. So I, I. I would rate that at about like a two on the level of madness of Elliot out of ten. That's a two. That's a fucking two. Holy Jesus. Yeah. That's a two. Oh, I can. If I'm mad, I've told you this so many times. If I'm mad, you will fucking know I'm mad. You turn into a goddamn volcano. Volcano dog. Phew. Okay. That's a two. You know, I was going to... No, nah, maybe that's like a four. See, I was disappointed when I died because here's what I wanted to do. <laughs> the thing is, like, later in the game, you come across Greg the Grim Reaper uh -huh. during, like, right when the Haunted champ bleh, chapter starts. Yeah. And I, when I was a kid, when I first played Conquer Live and Reloaded, I sure. wanted to see, hmm, I wonder what happens if you see him in that chapter before you die. Is the cutscene different at all? And it's not. It was just funny to be like... Oh, you again. Why don't you piss off? And then if you die right after that, it's as if he never met you ever, if that makes <laughs> sense at all. 
Yeah, it does. Make yeah, sense. so I I wanted to do that I here. I like this part of the game, by the way. Oh yes, yes, me too. More poopy. More doo doo. Uh, that's like me on a fishing trip. <laughs> fishing trip. I'll tell you about it. Right now, I used to go on these fly fishing trips, and we'd uh, get guides and take the boat out. And uh, there was this famous barbecue place in town, uh, actually in a town that you definitely know. Okay. Uh, and not in outer space. Not in outer space. You can bleep it if you want me to say it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, really? Yeah. And there was this Dude. place. Uh, bleep this too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that place. Yep, and. Uh, I went there, and my brother-in-law was with me, and we decided to share a family meal for, like, five, but the two of us, and we tried to eat the whole thing, <clears throat> and uh, I've never had such bad shits in my life after that. I had to, like, fucking poop my pants. I didn't, but I felt like I had to poop my pants in the car oh, back no. to the place we were staying. Oh, God. It was fine. I thought I thought I had deal with, dealt with it, and the next morning, we had to go out on the river and fish all day at, like, five in the morning. And, uh, Five in the morning. Wow. About maybe twenty minutes into it, I realized uh, the poop was not gone. Uh oh. And when you're out in the middle of nowhere, there's nowhere to really poop except out in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, "All right, can we pull over to the side of the river and I'll just take a shit?" And they're like, "Ah, oh, there's a lot of rapids, uh, and we're gonna want to hit all these fishing spots. We'll pull over in a couple hours or some shit." Like, oh. We could have. I mean, God. if I really had made it serious, we would have. But I was just like, "Whatever." So about for like two hours, I was. Like doing the poo dance in a boat oh, while fishing. I hate that. And I got out and I just shit my fucking guts out on a public trail. They didn't <laughs> tell me that. The fishing guide's just like, climb up this rock and go over there. I mean, it was in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I just fucking shat my guts out. And then he's like, yeah, that's the public hiking trail around here. And I was like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Dude, I hate the poop dance. That's, everybody can relate to that. Everybody Doing knows how that dance, feels. Baby. Well, we close dance, out the poop chapter baby. with a poop, poop story. Dance, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Very nicely done, your highness, <clears throat> Mr. King Cletus. Thanks. It was a shitty sitch. You know, it's funny. If you if you go back through here, uh huh, they're gone. Oh, my God. It's they're like gone. You, it's, like, it's like you think they'd be like, let's wait in case he comes back because the dinosaurs are dangerous. Then he's cornered. Then we got his ass. I like these. Nope. They look like they're wearing the dino suits. Those popular diamond dino, <gasps> the, the dino suits that people wear. Dino suits. <clears throat> yeah, like with the legs and the, it's like a blow up inflatable dino suit. You know what I'm talking about? The T-Rex uh, suit people wear. You mean like costume? on Halloween? Yeah, those costumes. Uh, maybe if you showed me a picture. James, put up a picture on screen. Dude, that snap was like. Ah! Uh, 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 <laughs> dinosaur, gonna tasty. fucking eat me! <laughs> Rip up my asshole and eat my. What's the skin just, in your asshole called? Rectum skin. Your ass labia. <laughs> yeah, your ass oh, labia. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Mm. Ew. The inner ass labia. Ew, gross. Mm. Your your uh, brown meat flaps. Ew. <laughs> Dude, I freaking. <laughs> Ew, that's... I remember there was one girl I dated. <laughs> Yeah, I I can't remember what led to it, but there was something about she she said something about shoving something up my butt at one point, and I said I'll shove this up your vagina and your ass. She's like, well, my vagina basically is up my ass. That's kind of how it works. So yeah. No, I don't know she's why. an idiot. I don't know why. I she's got that. a fucked up vagina. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, uh, the things we. Yeah, I just pee up my ass literally. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, the things I decide to share on this show and then slightly regret after I've said it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Everybody, James dated a lady who has a vagina in her butthole. Well, I mean, they're like in the... You know what? No, no, no biology lessons my today. My vagina is on my nipples. Oh, it is? Yes. Or they are? Yeah, they are. Hmm. Oh, this is... Okay, I just want to say this. This uh, chapter in the game is where things like start to get really difficult and tricky to figure out in the game some people some critics yeah talking about this game have said that there are times where they do get stuck yeah i can remember first time i played through this game it was on the xbox version i uh definitely got stuck a few times in this chapter because like what the fuck am i supposed yeah, to do it is confusing you gotta go the other way you gotta rescue the dinosaur and yeah the baby dino ah! oh jesus Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, I like when you get the dino in the arena. Oh, yeah, dude. That's, that's fun. But, um, but, but, yeah, what was it like when you first played? Because you've never played Live and Reloaded, right? Nope. So, um, like, when, when, when did you first play through this game all the way through? Like, uh... 
couple months ago. A couple months ago. Nah, four or five months ago. Because that's when you got Within Rare the Replay. Within the last year. That's when you got Rare Replay, yes. right? Yeah, because I got an Xbox One. It was on super sale. Maybe it was a Prime Day sale, so like near Thanksgiving, mm. I think. I bought an Xbox One and like three games. Halo 5, Forza 6, and some other game for like... Was it Halo 5, Guard I Ends? We know. Hey, boo-boo, I have... I got an Xbox One, and I have a copy of Halo 5, Guardianas. Yeah. Yogi, what the fuck is an Xbox One? <laughs> <laughs> More on that next episode. Oh, okay, that's an actual thing you're referencing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, and I beat it. It was the first game I beat on Rare Replay, because I was like, yeah, I want to play Conquer. Yeah, supposedly, I heard from Rare that apparently Conquer's Bad Fur Day, when Rare Replay came out, this was the most played game. Uh, yeah, I'd believe it. Which is ironic, because freaking... The game sold really crappy on when it first came out. Well, think about it. So. I mean, a lot of people who, like, a lot of my friends who had N64s were my age, like, you know. Eight years old. Eight years old or some shit. Every time I want to rent this, my mom's like, no, that's rated M. See, your mom's smart. There were a lot of parents who didn't see that it was rated M on yeah. the box, even though it's blatantly obvious. Yeah. Ob ob obvious. yeah. And they they got it for their kids anyways. They were upset. Mm -hmm. Their parents were upset. Oh, yeah. uh, do we have any time? oh, next time on Royal Goobs, we get an epic, uh, wide-angle shot of this next room. I'm a cameraman! Yeah. I'm a cameraman! There you drink okay, welcome soda. to the next episode of Royal Goobs. No. Take one more step. Okay, episode over!